Welcome to 2004. This is the Premier League, the aim for us to reach. But right now, we are in the Coca-Cola Division 3, the Football League 3rd Division. We're going to have to get the whole way up to the Premier League using a League 2 team and using Youth Academy players only. But where are we going to send our perfect 5-star, five 5-star five scouts to? Well, let's have a look at which nations are the most popular on my YouTube channel. Number one is the United Kingdom, then the United States, and then India. That seems like a decent mix. And our scouts are gone. England, United States. States and India. Let's simulate a month and see what players we can get back. Also, if you want to download this mod yourself, there'll be a link in the description or the comments. It's by a guy called Shadow Boy. Thank you, Shadow Boy. This mod is incredible. Oh my god, this guy is abysmal. That's probably the worst Youth Academy player I've ever seen in my life. Nothing from India. 300k value from America. That seems pretty good. Oh, Leon Frost. What a name for a goalkeeper. Oh my god. And in the first month, we have three people. Mate, Leon Frost looks like a monster. We also have Reese Long. He's a left back. And then we have Leon Thomas for the right wing. He's only 52 rated though. We can make him a center mid and maybe we'll do that instead. The aim is to get this entire team gone by the end of year one. Within 12 months, I want a full youth academy team and it can only start with the guys that are right here. Oh yes, Akhtar, we can take him. Oh wow, this guy looks good. Austin Sanders. Oh, Patrick Perry. Yeah, this is really fruitful. I feel like we're getting a lot out of this. Okay, 48 overall. Like he is good, but that's just a bit low rated. I guess I can always leave him in here. He is 15 after all. We can just leave him in the youth academy and see how how much he develops. Same with Leo Brooks, but he is also 15 as well. But we do have some real quality. Callum Ryan at centre back. Also, we still have Austin Sanders as well. I wonder if I can make him a centre mid. 22 weeks. Yes, we're 100% doing that. Centre mids are pretty hard to come by in these simulations. So if I can get a centre mid quickly, I definitely will. Patrick Perry. Let's make you a left winger. Austin Sanders might be the man. 80 to 94 potential is insane. And in 2004, that's like 60 million transfer value for like 94 potential, which is still like ridiculous. He's going to be completely competing against the likes of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo for the best players in the world. I should point out, by the way, the ultimate goal for this is to win the Champions League. We're not just stopping at the top of European football. We're going the whole way to the very top. Whoa. Oh my God. Who the hell is this guy? Jamie Stevens. 57 to 77 overall. 84 to 94 potential. Give me him. Put him in my club. That is insane. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh my God. He's like the best player here and he's 16. This guy looks ridiculous. Okay, get him on a development plan straight away. This guy's going to be like one of the best players in the world. Okay, and he's going to be our right winger. He just has to be. We can make Perry a left winger. He goes up by one overall. That's good. Not sure about this centre-back guy. Actually, not sure about this Perry guy. 64 to 84 potential is kind of bad. I'm just going to release him, actually. 86, but he's 63 overall right now. Uh, there's no harm in just leaving him here, I guess. Oh my god. We have such good talent already. And what are we saying? Ooh, nothing really from India. India has been very disappointing. I don't think we have a single player from India so far to dominate the 2000s and 2010s. Try and take out the likes of Steven Gerrard and Frank Lampard in midfield and replace them with others. Usually in the youth academy, you see this little preview. They tend to be the players with the best potential. No surprise that Jamie Stevens is on top of that. He can actually become a right winger now. He's up to a 65 overall and he develops again in another nine weeks. Jesus. We just found the next like Phil Foden, Bakayo Saka stereotype. Okay, yeah, this Callum Ryan guy. Uh, potential's a bit shaky. He's also 18. I'm just going to release him to be honest. I don't particularly want to sign players that have bad potential because I'll forget they have bad potential. Then be confused why they're 75 overall and not getting better. Okay, Leon Thomas, we can make a center mid. He's still 54 overall. It's not the best, especially when we have these higher rated players that are just so much better. How long does Austin Sanders have? 10 more weeks. Okay, we can wait. Austin Sanders, by the way, is English, even though his name's Austin. Weird. Anyway, yeah, 45 overall is just too low rated. I'm sorry. Akhtar actually has some of the most potential out of anyone. He's just really low rated, but I can just leave him. Isaac Bennett. Ooh, center back slash center mid. Can I make him a center mid? 64 weeks. I can make him a CDM. That's not bad. I'll do that instead. Mason Lewis's potential isn't good enough. A left mid. I don't really care about left mids. Could technically make him a center back. I don't know why I would do that though. I don't really know what to do with this guy, to be honest. I think I'll just leave him, put him on a development plan, see what comes out. Same with this Khan guy. Fine and balanced. Brendan Burns. Can we make him a center mid? 130 weeks. Can we make him a striker? Four weeks. That's not too bad. Okay, the youth academy is really filling up now. Getting optimistic. I'm getting very optimistic. The Inter Toto Cup. Oh my god. Every now and again, you'll get a little glimpse of the fact that we're in 2004, and it's just beautiful. Wow, India has been awfully disappointing. For our next skating mission, the other country better be better. I think we have two players from India and they're both like super low rated. England on the other hand has been really good. I hope we get something from this scouting mission from England. Yeah, we already do. Oh my god, Harvey Field will take you. Gabriel Dean. Oh my god. England's the best, man. England's actually the best for all these young players, which I hate to say because it's England, but like, oh my god, 84 to 94 potential. He's up to a 60 overall as this guy and he's only 15. This guy's really good. Brendan Burns. Okay, here's Harvey Field. He's a left winger, so it might be Field on one wing, Stevens on the other, and then Burns up front. How long does Saunders have left? Six 
weeks. Perfect. Here's Gabriel Dean as well. Oh my. I wonder if I could make you a right back. No, I can't. What do I send him in? 75 weeks? That is a bit long. Maybe I'll make him a right winger and then just send him out on loan. 88 to 94 potential on Jamie Stevens, by the way. Oh my god. He's also 65 rated, but our whole team is like mid 60s kind of as is. So as I said, I'm going to fill up this youth academy with loads of talent. And then when it's eventually full, I'm going to release all of these players that I don't need. There are definitely weak points of this team. Like we have literally zero reserves. So there are definitely weak points in this team. Oh my god. I can't believe we found the next Kyle Saka. Okay, let's see what we can get now. Heading into the final couple of scouting reports for these nations. There's a decent Indian player, Summit Ray. He's just a bit low rated, I think, because his value isn't particularly amazing. This guy looks decent as well. Another Akhtar. Now, Youth Academy is finally full. So the likes of this guy, Paul Clark, we definitely like him. Okay, who's not the best in terms of potential? This guy, and he's really low rated. So let's release him. We can make Dean a right winger while we're here. 61 overall, that's pretty good. Uh, just want to make a PSA as well. Jamie Stevens, 91 to 94 potential. This is getting scary now. This is absolutely hilarious. Okay, so yeah, we can definitely sign this guy. Don't want him. Oh, I'd like him. Shane Jones. Yeah, it's these lower rated guys. I, I apologize to the fine nation of India, but yeah, they're just not good enough. Let's get rid of this guy, actually, because we don't really need left wingers. Shane Jones we need, though. And then we still have the English scout report. We're definitely going to have at least two or three players from here, probably. Yeah, we'll take a chance on this guy as well. Get rid of one of our midfielders. Man Manjanata Akhtar. Sorry, that's probably very offensive, but I tried my best, okay? Okay, Jamie Stevens, actually, if I promoted him to the first team, would he, like, play? Yeah. Yeah, he'd be the best player on the team, right? <laughs> okay, so let's just promote him. There's no lead to Dilly Dally. Let's just get him up there. Also, Reese Long, he can get promoted. His potential is okay, but he may shatter a glass ceiling or two. That's what I'm hoping for. Shane Jones is center back, by the way. 15 years old, 63 overall already. That is absolutely perfect. We, of course, need center backs. Harvey Field, we could probably promote as well. And maybe Brendan Burns as well. Can we get that full forward line? We could definitely do Brendan Burns and he would start. Harvey Field's a bit tricky though, although I can just let the left winger go to be honest. Who is it? Lewis. Okay, I can just let Lewis go. Best player. Yeah, Jamie Stevens. Potential to be special, by the way. In case you don't know, there are three things that can appear beside the little status bar there. Showing great potential means their potential is between 80 to 85 overall. If it says an exciting prospect, that's 86 to 88 overall. And if it says has potential to be special, like Jamie Stevens, it's 89 potential plus. We, of course, already know that he's from 91 to 95 potential. 91 to 94 potential, I should say. There you go. Reese Long showing great potential. So his potential is from 80 to 85 overall. Harvey Field also showing great potential. He'd probably be better. 83 to 85 overall. He'll probably be a bit on the higher end of the showing great potential. But now that I've got rid of that player, Field does start on the left wing. Stevens, of course, will start. And then up front, we're going to have Burns. We could also probably get a center mid in there as well. And of course, we have the Saunders guy. When is he going to be a center mid? In one week. Okay, but he is also 15, so a bit of a problem. Center mids. Uh, we do actually have Leon Thomas, but I still don't think he's good enough, is he? No, he's not even good enough. Okay, whatever. It's not for Tafazoli. Yeah, I can get rid of that guy. Matter of fact, I probably should. Okay, and I believe now this coming month will be the last game report this month or next month so we can send them to three different nations this time we'll go for the fourth fifth and sixth most common countries that people watch my videos from india has been such a letdown though like for this guy 73 to 94 potential is good but the overall just isn't really there i suppose it's worth a try i guess but i don't really know to be honest a bit disappointed by the indian scouting reports america has been decent and england has been unbelievable though let me just check if my young guys are playing games so here's stevens he's playing burns is playing field is playing and then long playing as well perfect well burns is a four game zero goals a bit worrying be all right here we go we can make isaac bennett into a cdm 80 to 86 potential is decent but that's the thing we have a lot of players kind of floating around that range really if we're filtering for the best of the best oh here we go sander center mid stay 60 overall that's okay though get him on a development plan and just push him on yeah see daniel walker is a bit more what i'm looking for he's already a cdm he's 15 and he's 60 overall and we just signed him on a run we also signed noah goddard put him on a development plan as well and then paul clark can make you a center mid and we'll keep you 111 weeks is too long make you a left winger i guess i don't know <laughs> I have too many young players. Okay, this guy's too low rated in terms of potential anyway. I want to keep the Indian guys, but they're just not going to see any football. Not even their fault. They're just so low rated. Like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, one more month in India, England, and America, and then we're moving on. Yeah, here we go. The final scout report. And once again, India is just shooting blanks. Oh, this guy looks good though, actually. Shivaji Joseph. Yeah, 81 to 94 potential. Yeah, we'll definitely take him. Maybe we have one from India, finally. Oh my God, 1.6 million in value. Uh, yeah, give me him. England again, just serve up the goods. We haven't even seen anyone break 750k and this guy's 68 overall. We can make Clark a left winger. He goes up to 59. Oh my god 68 overall. Oh no. This is actually bad. This is bad for one of our players. Unless we can make him a striker which would still be bad for one of our players. Fit 153 weeks not going to happen. Gabriel Whitehead. Oh my god. This is terrible for Field. He's going to get benched. Might have to loan him out. Burns isn't playing. Tafazoli is. Okay. Well I mean we can always just release him and Stockley as well. Let's just get rid of all the best real players that are at this club now. Anyone without a face is real. Oh, Squ 
squad size too small. Okay, that's fine. This Shane Jones is still 15 as well, which is such a shame. I want to promote him. Gabriel Dean is one of the best players, but he's a right winger. And we've already got that, so we kind of don't need him. Okay, yeah, so this is the team. So far, we have Long, Field, Burns, and Stevens playing. We have four. We need a couple more Youth Academy players for sure. Let's send these scouts out to different countries. Let's go to the next three most popular countries on my channel. Okay, what's next? Australia, South Africa, and Canada. Okay, pretty good. In that order as well. Australia for nine months. What are we looking for? Could do with a center mid, honestly. So let's do that. Australia, South Africa, just in general, and then the beautiful nation of Canada. We're going to look for someone that's physically strong, I guess. I don't really know. Here we go. Monthly scout report. Oh my God. But he's like no value. His overall is terrible. I can't take him. By the time he becomes good, everyone's going to be 75. Oh my God. 83 to 95. Okay, let's clear this place out. Oh, we can make him a left winger. 69 of Ross. We can just promote him to the senior team. Perfect. We can also promote Gabriel Dean. Actually, let's just promote everyone. This is the moment that we're changing everything. Everyone get out of here. You're no longer welcome. Well, you are welcome. You're just welcome at the better team, I guess. Oh dear, these Australians don't look very good. Oh, we found India part two. Let's have a look at this guy with the value and potential. 61 overall, and he's a center forward. Right, we gotta make him a striker. Before we do anything, we gotta make him a striker. 61 weeks? 32 weeks to make him a center mid, though. Oh yeah, we'll do that for sure. Right, we can just leave him in here and let him become a center mid, because if he can play center mid, he'd literally start more or less straight away. This is the team that I want to be playing. This is my, like, quote-unquote youth academy setup right now. Yeah, so it would be Field Burns and Stevens up front with Joseph, Thomas, and Bennett uh, in midfield. Every single one of them is from a different country. They're not all from England. Joseph is from India and Bennett is from the USA. Thomas is from England. Then we have Long at left back. We have Goddard at centre back. We also have this Akhtar guy, but I'm just going to leave Eastwood in there and then Frost in there. So we still have two quote-unquote normal players in there. Whitehead is 69 overall, so he's got to play. Sorry to Field. I might actually loan Field out and just see how much better he gets. Could be a laugh. Might loan out Field and Dean. I'm thinking about it. Maybe next year. Yeah, Noah Thomas. He is 16, so technically I probably should promote him to the first team, but I'd rather leave him in there. Then he becomes a center mid, and then I promote him. Oh my god. Nobody is good. Oh, that's the worst. I need good players, man. How the hell am I supposed to get out of the Coca-Cola Football League third division? By the way, uh, we actually are in the playoffs. We drew our first game to Walsall. I hope we don't go up. That would mean we basically went up with our normal team, which kind of feels a bit unfair. I'm waiting for a couple of things. The first thing I'm waiting for is this guy to turn 16. Then I'm also waiting for this guy to turn 16. I'm waiting for him to become a center mid. And I'm waiting for him to get out of my youth academy. He's far too low rated. Babu Ma. Yeah. Just so low rated. He's like Walter Long. I love the name. Not good enough. I gotta release him. May as well promote Babu. Give him the call up. Right, let's go to the end of June. And we lost to Walsall. So we're still in the Football League third division, which is basically where we want to be. What we're gonna do now is release all of the normal players that play for Tranmere. So we are completely into youth academy only. And these are the players that we're going to be playing against. Ronaldo, Messi, Shevchenko, Rooney, Vieira, Ronaldinho as well. R9, Ronaldo, Zidane, all those guys. They're all here. And we have to beat them all to the European title using these guys. Whitehead, Stevens, and Burns. Oh, Trump, it's a bit bleak. We do our best though. Let's see who we can get rid of. Okay, there we go. We've absolutely decimated the majority of the team. I think we have three normal players left. Um, yes, we're playing a center mid at center back. I'm waiting for the kid to turn 16. He's still 15 tiers. However, Austin Sanders has just turned 16. 61 overall. 87 to 93 potential. Promote him to the senior team. Let's have a quick look at some potential status just to get an idea of how good these players really are. We're going to have to break up our midfield, unfortunately. It's going to have to be Saunders starting centre mid. But what are we thinking? Okay, Whitehead's potential to be special. Stevens is potential to be special. Long is still showing great potential. Harvey Field is also still showing great potential, which is good. They can change between the statuses as dynamic potential increases or decreases. Brendan Burns has been transfer listed. I didn't mean to do that. He's potential to be special. Oh my god. Gabriel Dean is an exciting prospect. Perfect. So what we're going to do is send him out on loan. We're also going to do the same thing with Harvey Field. Leon Frost, an exciting prospect. Austin Sanders in the midfield, an exciting prospect. Nag Thomas is showing great potential. So we're going to send him out on loan. And this guy, and this guy. And then we don't really care about the rest. We can just kind of leave them, to be honest. And they are the loan offers that we want. Two-year loan. The main aim is to get these guys on loan for as long as physically possible. Two-year loan, accept. Two-year loan, accept. Loan to buy? Absolutely not. Two-year loan. Will this be useful to us? Honestly, probably not, but it will help with our depth in the future. Honestly, it's a lot of work and it's questionable whether it will actually be rewarded, but we'll have to see. Perfect. West Ham loan to buy. Interesting. Transfer for Leon Thomas. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to block that, actually. Austin Saunders, block him as well. We really want him. Jesus, we have a lot of business going on. Okay. Why are all the loans getting rejected? Guys, what the hell? Is this happening for everyone? All the loans are getting rejected? Oh, actually, we can accept that. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so for some reason, I have no idea why, but all the loans seem to be getting rejected. A bit scary. Have we actually completed a single successful loan move. We have one, Isaac Bennett. That's it. Every other loan move got rejected. Okay, brilliant. We just have to wait then. We'll wait a little while and do it in January, maybe. Their own fault if they don't
don't want to get good at football, then what can I say? They can stay here all they want. They're not going to play. <laughs> 91 to 94 potential on our center back as well. This guy's so good. Just get into my team, please. Also, this left winger looks amazing. I wish I could like make him a center mid or something. Right mid, no, that's no good. Center mid, yeah, 130 weeks is so long. Striker though. Nah, we already have a striker. How long has Noah Thompson got left? 19 weeks, okay, forever basically. There's no point doing the loan offers. There's literally no point. They're all going to get rejected. Forget it, just forget it. Plug my inbox all you want, I don't care. I'll do them next year, losers. I'll do them next year in 2006. No need to do them in 05. If I can win the Champions League by 2010, I don't think I will, but I'd love that. Probably be about 2015 before I win the Champions League, but it won't be this slow. We're going to fly through the years eventually, but we're actually getting like nothing from these scouting reports. Absolutely nothing. We're winning games though. We're actually doing really, really well so far in leagues. Well, it's actually the third division. I was going to say league two, but it's not. I feel like we're doing well anyway. 12th. Okay, so we're not doing amazing. Finally, Shane Jones. He's 16. Promote him to the senior team. Let's go. We actually have a center back now. Akhtar out. Jones in. Whitehead's up to a 70. Stevens is up to a 69. Levy is still playing right back. He seems pretty happy there though, so we can just kind of leave him, I guess. Could actually do with a right back though. 89 to 94 potential now on 11 weeks for our center mid. 50 overall is too low. 44 isn't even funny. Just get out of here. Even 56 isn't great for a left winger because we have so many left wingers. Unless we can make you a right back. 168 weeks? Yeah, no. Sorry, mate, you're gone. Even like Paul Clark, like I'm sure you're lovely, Paul, mate, but we're just not going to be able to fit you in. But sure, we'll, we'll develop you anyway because we have room. Not looking good for you, pal. That's the grind, yo. 400k, 78 to 94. Sign him. Let's go, Canada. Pull up. Oh my God, look at this man. Jay Roberts looking like a gas station employee, I guess. I don't know. So many South African players and not a single one are good. Oh, you look good. He's a goalkeeper as well. Shabalala. Ooh, found some good players on this run, didn't we? I don't know why I spoke backwards like I was Yoda. Jesse Lyons, 81 to 94. Theodore Jarvis, what a name. 78 to 94. Also this guy, Zach Bailey, 78 to 94. Yeah, we found some good ones here. 15 weeks for a center mid as well. Ooh, that's really tempting. Or four weeks for a cam. We could make him a cam and play like a 4-3-3-4 variation. Yeah, let's do it. Let's make him a cam and see how that goes. We also now finally have a right back to so promote him. Mendy Chabalala and Nets. Yes. We have a backup goalkeeper. Let's go. Brilliant. Okay, can I buy any more coaches? We really need coaching slots. I want to hire more coaches. Oh my God, we really need coaches. I think Jesse Lyons is the most potential for center mid though. I don't know what to do. I have all these really, really good high potential players and I want to get them all up to their potential, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. I can only play a certain amount of players. Like I said, I'd love to send them out all on loan, but they're just not taking the loan off. Oh, Bailey position change. This is big. 68 overall. Oh my God. He's insane. Oh, we promote this guy straight away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Promote him to the senior team. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's like one of the best players we have now. Okay, this is simple. We were 4-3-3 holding. We just go to a 4-3-3 attack. Saunders, who actually used to be a cam, can now play center mid and Bailey plays at cam. Oh, Jones is actually playing at right back. Okay, that's weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so what are we missing here, really? A uh, center mid and a center back. I think that's really it. Still trying to send these guys out on loan, but uh, I don't know, man. I just hope it works out. Let's see if they accept the loan offers or not. Yes, they did. Oh my God, finally. I've accepted his loan. What can I say? He's going to go, right? They withdrew the offer. Tears. Gabriel Dina's offers. He requests to move away. Oh my God. Oh, Nazir Thomas is gone. Good. Thank God. Oh, we can make this guy center mid. 62 still. Okay, that's still pretty good. It's enough that we can promote him to the senior team and get him to start straight away. So let's get him to do that. 91 to 94 potential. Lord have mercy. Get into that senior team. Right, and now let's get rid of the final gray heads out of this team. Okay, I think they're all gone. I think that was it. Oh no, one more. Oh, I can't do anything about this guy. Is he retiring or whatever? Yeah, six months. Okay, I can't do anything about him, but everyone else is our players. Youth Academy only is real and it's happening right now. Here we go. Okay, weaknesses. Definitely center back. Center mid, actually, kind of low rated, but the potential is so incredibly high that it doesn't really matter right now. They'll shoot up. I'm worried about Goddard alongside Jones because Jones is great. Long's potential is good with Roberts too. Let's just have a look at their statuses to really see who's got the most potential. So potential to be special, potential to be special, showing great potential, showing great potential. Okay, that, I thought he'd be a bit higher. It's a bit worrying. Change Jones' center back's potential to be special. We knew that. That's a loan deal. Potential to be special striker. Exciting prospect goalkeeper. Transfer request. I want to get that sorted. Exciting prospect. Potential to be special. Noah Thompson. Brilliant. That's our center mid sorted. Isaac Bennett's already gone up five overall on loan. That's brilliant. Goddard's gone. You're gone on loan as well. Showing great potential right back is decent. What I will do though is fly through all these development plans and make sure they're right. One of the more boring tasks, but one of the most important tasks as well. Okay, there we go. Done. Decent. Okay, let's see how this team plays out for the rest of the season. Bailey's actually our captain, which is a bit weird. I'd rather it was Jones, to be honest. He's going to be our hardcore, no nonsense centre back for the rest of the simulation, most likely. What we can do with Dean, actually, is just sell him and then buy him back because he is our player. I'm just going to accept these. There we go. Loads of players just gone out on loan, hopefully. Yes, they have. Good. New scout report available. I think this might be our final scouting report from these nations. Genuinely, I don't think there's a point in going back out again because we're just going to get some semi-decent potential players, but even if they're really, really good, like the players in our team,
team are just going to be better, so there's no point. Let's stick with what we've got from now and see where we end up. Players leaving on loan. Dean transfer offers. We can accept. See where he wants to go. I don't really care. And now that we have players left on loan, where does that leave us in terms of squad? Yeah, so we have no centre-backs at all. Or we do, but none that actually fit, which is a problem. Can I actually make this guy a centre-back? In two weeks, I can. Oh my god, yep. Okay, promote him to the senior team. Akhtar, get out of the way. Walker is here. We beat Burnley in the Carabao Cup, by the way, which is incredible. Or actually, I think it's the FA Cup, which is, I mean, even better. Shrewsbury now, and we lose to them. So we're out of the FA Cup. There are a few things we can do here. First of which is get this position change done. Oh my god, what the hell? Where did this guy come from roger oh we needed him because we sent players out on loan and we have no other room in the squad okay right well, let's just forget that ever happened let's call some people let's just call up this guy also this lines guy is ridiculous potential so i'm gonna promote him and loan him out where is he roger get out of here man not center back yet no there we go 65 overall nice we've got good defenders he's already gone up six overall goddard has by the way which is so good so is isaac bennett lions add to loan list the same for paul clark who's an exciting prospect we're gonna add him to the loan list as well we're, yes we're loaning out a lot of players will it matter probably not and Dora FC or Inter Miami. Two-year loan, hopefully. The good thing is, once we get these loans sorted, these players will fly up and overall. Wesley Schneider, by the way, has gone to Real Madrid. Morgan Gams Pedersen has gone to Hamburg. And Lyons has gone to Inter Miami. Please. Two years. Except Clark. Loan to buy. Oh, from Club Americo Independiente. Sorry, I butchered that. Jonathan Woodgate's gone to Aston Villa from Real Madrid. Very exotic. And there we go. So what I'm actually going to do is reject the short-term loan. I'm going to say yes to the two-year loan. Because the short-term loan is like six months. And I'd rather not do this again if I don't have to for another while. Two years accept, short term reject. Perfect. And we're walking somebody out the door, baby. Lions. The sentiment that we just signed. He's going to go and play with Messi for like two and a half years. Lucky bugger. Clark Lone's been rejected. Oh, for goodness sake. We're not going to be able to get this done. Oh, they rejected both. Oh, whatever. Okay, fine. Let's just pretend it didn't happen. And there we go. The youth report is done. Everyone is gone. The scouts will never leave the club again. These guys are too low rated. I just have to let them go. I guess we'll just keep these guys. It could be funny. Let's jar this guy looks good, but just hold on to him, I guess. And now I get a Clark loan offer. Oh my god, two years. San Lorenzo, two years. See what they say. They say yes, and then they'll eventually say no for some reason. They said no. Why? Oh my god. Right, whatever. Don't think there's really much I can do to be honest. I might just sim it the rest of the season. This team is pretty damn good to be honest. Okay, Clark is getting a game, which is good. He's coming off the bench. So is Joseph in midfield, which is great. Not much more I can do. Let's just sim out. Oh my god, Pedro plays for Bolton. That's hilarious. Lewandowski is actually a free agent. We could sign him. But we can't. It's Youth Academy only. Although it would be funny. Oh, that is so tempting. Because it would technically be Youth Academy because he's not with a club. Like, we've scouted him ourselves. We found him. Not with our youth scouts, but with our normal scouts. But he's still a free agent. Like, he's not with a club. Oh, I will. I will. I will. I will. I'll go and sign him. Why not? What I'll do is I'll sign him and I'll send him out on loan or something. That is so funny. Okay. From a grand a week. There we go. We just bought Robert Lewandowski for Tranmere Rovers for free. Because we scouted him. Because he's part of our youth setup, kind of. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just send him out on loan. All these guys and Robert Lewandowski. Potentially to be special, of course. It's Lewandowski. Clark, it's just not gonna happen. So I'll just leave him. Try again next year. Lewandowski loan rejected. Oh my god. Lewandowski loan. Yes, they agreed. Thank God. Finally, somebody took him. Okay, let's just go to June. There's nothing to do else here. I have no idea how we're doing in the league, but I don't think we're doing well based on the results that we're getting. I'm actually really happy with how this youth academy run is going. I think it's going really, really well. And our team is really good, but how are we doing in the league? We're actually fourth. Okay, so we're in the playoff picture. We're not quite getting automatic promotion, but we're doing very well. Austin, bloody Robert Lewandowski. Don't know where we got him from, but we have him. He's here. Yeah. The plan is to send him out on loan just every year till he gets really good and then put him on the bench behind Burns up front just for a laugh. I don't want to actually really use him because I do feel like it's kind of cheating, even though it's also kind of not. Bradford last game of the season doesn't really matter for us. 2-1 win leaves us in the playoffs. Who are we playing against? Who are we playing against in the playoffs, guys? Oh my God, we promoted. We got automatically promoted. How the hell did that happen? Oh my God. Okay, yes. <laughs> We're up just like that. Okay, so we are out of the Football League third division into the Football League second division, if you can believe it. That that is how it works. Numbers are somewhat linear. We got promoted automatically. Brilliant. Uh, the Clark loan got rejected. This guy is just so bad. And it's time for the World Cup. But we don't really care. We're, like, none of our players are going to play in the World Cup. So it's not like India qualified anyway. Granted, it's not like we have any Indian players in the first place. So we actually get promoted in our first full real youth academy season, which is really good. That's a really good sign. I didn't expect that to happen at all. I'm going to move a coach from attacking to midfield just because I feel like the attack's a little bit ahead of the midfield at the moment. Like Thompson and Saunders definitely need to get a little bit 
bit better for me. We're actually going to struggle for players here. Although we can just promote these two guys. I'm just going to promote these two guys. And there we go. Youth Academy is empty for the final time. No more players to come in or out of those doors. That's it. One guy, two guys in reserves. Soon to be one guy when Clark goes out on loan. And then that's going to be it. We do have a lot of players out on loan as well. When they eventually filter back, we'll have plenty of reserves. How good are they doing, by the way? Fields up to a 71 already. Thomas is up to a 70. The Indian Messi, apparently. Goddard is up to a 65. Bennett's 60. Yeah, so it's actually really beneficial for them. Now, what we can do with Nagaraji Thomas is just keep sending him out on loan until he becomes like a beast. Just like Lewandowski's going to do. Can't believe we got Lewandowski on a free. That's so funny. Could get Agbon the whore as well, but nah. That's a bit too far. Feel bad enough just signing Lewandowski. Still can't get rid of this clack guy. We still can't get rid of him. Although, to be fair, I mean, he's doing pretty well, so. Janey J. Okay, Paul, get out of this stupid club, please. Please accept the loan. Please accept the loan. Oh my god, rejected. Loaned out! Finally! Heaven is real! Oh my god. Uh, Daniel Walker, 100% no way. Leon Frost, no way either. Jura keeps trying to buy all our players, man. Burns transfer offer, that's interesting. I'm not gonna sell him, obviously, but how much? 1.65 mil from Rapid VN. Nothing to worry about this season. We just simulate. No players to scout. Uh, everyone should be pretty decently happy with their game time. I think we have one reserve. Maybe none. Okay, we have no reserves. That's fine. Uh, Akhtar and Jarvis are sharp. It's good. Joseph as well. Stevens is a gold card. Whitehead is about to be a gold card. Long's not far off that either. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. Get this midfield moving, though. Saunders and Thompson. Let's just have a quick look at where they're at. So here's Saunders. Still an exciting prospect. Can I develop him anymore? No. Just have to leave him. That's okay. Thompson, exciting prospect as well. He was potential to be special at one point. Let's make him a ball winning midfielder and see if we can get him back up there. Oh, we actually have players on international duty. Really? Who's on international duty? Oh, Reese Long and Brendan Burns for the United States. Good for them. Our left back and our striker. Come on. How did Bailey not get picked? Oh, he's Canadian. Sorry. Easy mistake to make. Okay, don't shoot me. There we go. Everyone's sharp and fit now. Top scorer is Brendan Burns, by the way. Whitehead second, Stevens third. Oh, he's not. He's got all his fitness, though, because he's on that um, energy focus plan. That's why. I know what I'm doing, kind of. Beat Brighton in the league. That's a good result. I think they got relegated from the championship. Is that Robin Van Persie in nets, or was I just tripping? Probably my fault, let's be honest. How are we doing in second division? We're second. Almost top. Oh my god. The only thing that separates us from the top position in the league is goal difference. We're flying. Back to back promotions is actually on the cards here. Yeah, look, Walker's had a massive jump this season, up to a 71. Thompson is up two. Saunders is up another two as well. Team is flying. What about the guys that are out on loan? Wow, he's up to a 73. That's amazing. Back in the 1st of January 2008. Currently just the 1st of January 2007. So he's gone for another full year. So you just, I want to have a look at contracts as well. I don't want to really underpay these guys, especially the most valuable guys, like the likes of Stevens and stuff. He could get paid. Yeah, these guys are out long enough here. No, I'm not doing a release clause. Come on, mate. How good is Robert Lewandowski now? He's up to a 69 overall. Can't believe we actually have Lewandowski. There is a little bit of tension in the air, though, with our better players. I feel like they're not completely bought into the project, even though we are flying. Okay, never mind. I think they're okay now. Jamie Stevens is very happy. And how about all of the other players? Okay, everyone that's starting is very happy. Best thing about Youth Academy runs is as the season goes on, we're just going to keep getting better as our players get better. Didn't think we lost a game there. 94 points. Yeah, we've won the League 1 title, which is incredible. Well, the Football League Second Division title, which will put us into the Football League Championship next season, which is a division behind Premier League. Gotta do something with this guy. I mean, he's a left mid. I don't play with left mid, but I've got to find a way to fit him into the team. Where can I put him? Can I make him a centre mid, maybe? I could make him a cam instead of Zach Bailey, who's now at the club since, which means his potential is 79 or lower. Uh, by the way, Reese Long, our left back, has gone up to an exciting prospect, so his potential has increased. But our right back is now at the club since as well, which is not a good sign. Shivaji Joseph is potential to be special? Oh my god. Okay, put him on the loan list. I had no idea. I had literally no idea. Oh my god. India, let's go. I misspoke. I spoke far too soon. Let's go India. Oh, that's an interesting one. Transfer offer? No. So we finished third in the league last season. We finished first in the league this year. Next year, we're going to be into the championship. How are we going to get on? There's Alex Ferguson with Cristiano Ronaldo and the FA Cup trophy. That's exactly where we're looking to go to. Let's have a look at some of our competition this year in the championship. The 2007-08 season, I believe it is. Clubs like Brighton got promoted alongside us. Leicester City are here in the championship. Sheffield United as well. It's actually a pretty normal championship, although West Ham are down here, which is a bit unusual, and Wolves as well. Actually fairly normal, which is surprising because normally they're absolutely insane. We can buy one more coach. Just know if I could buy all of these coaches, this development would have been fast-tracked even further, but no, we're stuck at where we are. Although it's not the worst, to be honest. Let's do all of these contracts now. Oh my god. Oh, I recently negotiated with these guys. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, but these four guys, I need to lock these guys down on contracts, and I've already negotiated with them recently. I wonder if I can do it again now. Let me try. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, to be honest. I just want them to play for my team. Ah, uh, there's the loan offers that we were looking for. Long move away block. We do have people back from loan though, right? No, we don't. We don't. We don't. Okay. Jarvis Long rejected. God's sake. Okay. Maybe it's because he's too low rated. It could well be that. There's no 
way we get promoted in back-to-back -back seasons, is there? I mean, there is technically a chance. It's pretty slim, but it is actually physically possible, which is insane. Our entire attack is now gold. We're all 75 plus. We have two defenders that are that as well, as well as our goalkeeper, Frost. This team is so good. This team is so good. But is it good enough to win a Champions League title? I mean, we'll have to find out. Shane Jones. Let's just go to January. I think I just won manager of the month, which is great. God, Gerard Ferdinand and Sol Campbell. God, how the hell are we going to beat them? Okay, let's do these contracts. Yes, they let me negotiate. Okay, you want a release clause and I'm not willing to give you that. So I'm, I'm willing to step into the room with you. Much as I don't want to. Give me five years? Give me four years? Oh, now you don't want a release clause. That makes no sense. Okay, I'll give you 10k a week. Sweet. Done. We've locked up our best players for years and years on end. Shivahi Joseph, by the way, is 79 overall. He just starts for us immediately. I don't know how this has happened. Oh my God. He's gone up 13 overall in like six months. I gotta leave him out on loan. If he's getting better that quickly, I may as well leave him there. Okay, yeah. So now we're gonna have players start returning from loan, including Lions, who actually starts in midfield, which is interesting. Wow. But Shivahi Joseph, when he comes back, bro, he's playing. We don't need him right now, but okay. So there are a couple players that are at the club since, including Harvey Field, who's come back from loan. Lions is potential to be special, and he gets in ahead of Noah Thompson, who's an exciting prospect. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna send one of these guys out on loan. Probably Noah Thompson. Oh, actually, no. Let's send Jesse Lions out on loan again. Why not? This guy's 76 overall. He's a left mid, though. Like, what can I do with that? I mean, I can try and make him a left winger and just see how good he gets. I don't know. Harvey Field, I'm not sure. Isaac Bennett. Yeah, we'll just keep him, I guess. Theodore Jarvis is now with us. I wonder if I can make him a right back. No, I can't. Add him to the loan list. We do actually need a couple of players. We do actually need a team, you know? So don't want to loan everyone out. Like the likes of Harvey Field, who's not going to get any better. He can literally just sit on our bench now for the rest of his career. And in my opinion, that's a career well spent. Jay Roberts, we actually kind of need this guy, even though his potential is not that good. I actually don't really know what to do with him, to be honest. Lions transfer offer. I nip that in the bud. No way. Are you kidding me? The GOAT? Jesse Lions? No. Oh my god, this guy is so good. This guy is so good. How the hell am I going to justify, like, not playing him? I've got to add him to the loan list. I, I don't want to lose him. I know he's only showing great potential, but I don't want to lose him. Can I make you a right back? In two weeks, I can. That's decent. Even though he's left footed, we'll just make it work. There's a loan offer from Manchester City. Two year loan. We'll do that. 28 mil block. No, Thompson. No, I want him I'm on loan. I don't want him transfers. Okay, there's the Thomas loan offer for sure. Here's the position change for Goddard as well. How good is he going to be? 70. That's better. I think that's still enough to start. I actually have no idea how well we're doing in the league either. We'll probably have a quick look. Yeah, okay. So let me just make sure I get this right. I feel like that's what our bench is kind of looking like right now. Yeah, at the back, we're strong. Just apart from at right back, Goddard should really be playing. In midfields, it just has to be Lions. Let's have a quick look at how we're doing in the championship this season. I feel like we're doing well, and we definitely are. Fourth in the table is very strong. Definitely fighting for that second automatic promotion spot. I don't think we get the first one. We should get one of them at least. Naranju. Oh my god, India, pull up. I can't believe India is doing so well. Okay, that's it. Top scorer this season is Brendan Burns up top. Gabriel Whitehead as well. Zach Bailey doing well as well. Stevens, eight goals, but he does have the most assists on 11, so he's still definitely vital to this team. Let's see if we can close this out and maybe even sneak our way into the top two. We get a draw against West Brom. We get a loss against Cardiff. That's not good. But we beat Coventry. That's a better sign. We have to beat Reading now to stay in this, and we do. What about Wickham away? Tough fixture. When we get a result, now we're into April. How are we set? We're fourth, but we are six points off West Ham, and they have a game in hand. It's looking like it's going to be our playoff season again. And oh, I just want to buy coaches. I want to buy like a bajillion coaches, but I literally can't. I need to like, I have no space apparently, but I do. Oh, this is the worst. Although it may not be the worst thing if we stay in the championship for another year. That extra year of development would definitely help. Besides, even if we do stay in the championship, there's no way we don't destroy it next year anyway. We just beat Leicester 5-1, which is decent. Where are we now? We're still fourth and we are miles off. Look at those two steaming ahead. West Ham are going to take the title. Birmingham has scored 100 goals and we are good, but not quite Carling. Lions isn't playing. Thompson is. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like Jarvis is playing in Saunders isn't either. That's kind of bad. I don't know how I feel about that either. Let's just finish out the season. We got a win against Swansea. We got a loss against Huddersfield and a 5-1 win against Brighton. We draw with Sunderland and then lose to them. Great. So we're out of the playoffs. We got 93 points in the championship season and we finished fourth. Okay, we're going to do, let, let's do a lone exodus. Oh my God, this guy. Should we just take him back now? I feel like we should just take him back now. I'm just going to recall him. Screw it. He's too good, man. He's just too good. He's going to get better in another 15 weeks. He's an exciting prospect. Yeah, he's just so good. It's going to be him starting center mid alongside Saunders. Got to send him out on loan and I'm going to send Saunders out on loan as well. I'm going to keep Lions. Actually, no, I'm going to send Lions out on loan actually. I'm going to keep Saunders. Tired though. <laughs> Three progress assessments in one day. Tears. How much depth do I have in this team now? Okay, I have five players. So I have room. But Joseph just starts straight away. So many midfielders. We have so many midfielders. Like a lot of these low rate guys. I'm literally just keeping them here just to like fill out the team. Kind of need Chabalala to be honest. 
Can I make him a right? Four weeks? Yeah, let's give it a go. Why not? Or we make Austin Sanders a cam and we send Zach Bailey out on loan. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Because Austin Sanders was originally a cam. We can make him a cam again. No problem. Oh my God. 194 weeks. Are you kidding me? Okay. What about Noah Thompson? Two weeks. That makes a bit more sense. What about Jesse Lyons? 23 weeks. Okay. Okay. No, I'm just going to leave it as it is for the moment. Okay. Right now. Nothing for the whole season. Just give me a loan offer. Never mind. And here come more players from loan. They're all back now. We're just going to have mass exodus. Just play is gone. So hard to try and keep everyone happy in these simulations. Our keeper wants to move away from the club. Okay, that's a problem. Our backup keeper wants to move away from the club. Okay, fine. Lewandowski's back. He's only showing great potential now, though. Gonna send him out on loan again, just for a laugh. Oh, Arsenal, what about Joseph? 12 mil block. Okay, here come the loan offers now. Here we go. Field is gone. Good. Okay, so the loan seems to be working this time. Oh my god, we have so many. Okay, Bolton. Accept that. Accept that. Accept that. Accept two years from Bayer Leverkusen. Ooh, two years from Newcastle. Okay, hopefully they they all work. Although if they do, how many players do we actually have in reserve? Five. Oh, crap. Okay. So we literally cannot loan them all out. Well, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Who's most important? Lewandowski, get him out of here. Lions, definitely get him out of here. Thompson, we could actually keep. Same with Jay Roberts. We've already lost three players, so we only have two reserves. So if we lose Lions and Lewandowski here, that would be ideal. There goes Lions and there goes Lewandowski. Perfect. Okay, we have no attackers on the bench, but we don't care. Lewandowski's on loan. Thomas is on loan. Clark's on loan. Field's on loan. Everyone is gone. Runaway train, never coming home. But because Saunders has the potential, and this we've already spoken about, I'm going to make Noah Thompson a cam. So now he can officially play center mid, cam, center forward, and striker, technically. He's like one of the most flexible players on the planet. I think that's why my loans were getting rejected, because I didn't have enough players on my team. That would make sense. Is it another two weeks? What? That makes no sense. Oh, whatever. Can't believe I haven't been fired yet either. I mean, I'll take it. There we go. Thompson position change. Still a 73. That's all right, though. Get him on a development plan. He can just sit there. When the time comes that he does eventually overtake Bailey at Cam, he can just take it. It's his spot. Come on. Wins. Wins. Yes. There we go. We're doing really well this year. 2008, 2009 is going to be our season to get into the Premier League. Is it paying off? Yes, it is. We're top of the championship. The Football League Championship. We are top. I don't know if we're still in the FA Cup. We're not in the Carabao Cup, I can tell you that. But our team is looking good. Weak point. Definitely right back. Goddard is getting better. So I'm just going to be patient with him. Bailey's gone up and overall as well, but I'm waiting for him to plateau. Thompson's doing better as well on the bench. Let's have a quick look at our loan players though and see how they're doing. Don't really need to worry about my front three because they're just insane. We already know that. Lions is up already to a 76. He's going to keep getting better. Shivaji Joseph is only up to showing great potential so he's only going to go up to a maximum of 85 overall. The midfield question in this team is so interesting. Who's going to be the two or three midfielders that come out as the best? I have absolutely no idea. It's probably not going to be Babu Ma. Poor guy. Man United of the Cup. We lose. Okay, Ronaldo and Rooney and all those guys just absolutely destroy. So that's the England team for this year by the way. Joe Cole, Wayne Rooney at the front as well. Ashley Cole there as well. Rio Ferdinand and Sol Campbell. It's a strong, strong England team. And that's going to be our competition in the Premier League. We actually have to get there first. Oh my God, look at that. Over the last couple of games, scored 12 goals, conceded zero. This team is so strong. It's so good now. Actually so good. Oh, this is so good. Okay, we're growing. We're growing really well. Jarvis has got massively to a 77, by the way. So is Lions. Lewandowski's only up to a 76. I think he's bad. I might get rid of him. Abbey Field's only up one as well. Bennett's up four. Clark is up two. The lone move. The lone moves are working. Oh, and by the way, we're absolutely destroying this league. We've lost two games all year and conceded 28 goals. It's not even funny. We win 3-0 again. Ah, and we lost to Swansea. Typical. All right. Did we win the league? Yeah, well, 105 points with a couple of games to go. I think we're pretty sure we've won. We could get 113 points. We win against Brentford. We draw against Millwall. And we draw against Norwich. Could have been over 110. Actually, it is exactly 110. Preston have 99 points and still have to play in the playoff. That is so unfortunate. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Premier League time in 2009. Finally, five years later, we are ready to go into the Premier League we go. I still haven't been fired this entire time, which is very surprising, can I just say. But now it's finally our time. First in the championship, time to enter the big time. Time to enter the Premier League. Actually, the Barclays Premier League. I have one extra coach. Are you kidding me? And this is the team that's going to destroy the Premier League. We have two players under 80 overall. One of them is our right back and one of them is our center mid. However, we do have a lot of depth in center mid, so I think we're pretty good there. Right back does concern me a little bit, though. Jarvis is up to a 78. Lions up to a 77. I'm not going to be able to fit all these guys in. This is so sad. I want to play them all. I just can't, though. Oh, did we keep Shabalala? No way. Let's go. We kept Shabalala. Oh, my God. Player contract renewed. He's on a three-year contract. Let's go. Okay, let's give these guys some bigger deals. We're in the Premier League now. We can give these guys mega contracts that they deserve, kind of. I mean, apart from the Indian guys that make up the reserves. 490k 
release clause? Yeah, all right, for it. fine, mate. Saunders is up from 300 quid a week to 24 grand a week, just like that. What's the smallest contract on our team? It's still 162 quid a week. Goddard, oh my God. He's starting in the Premier League. Come on, mate. Even Shabalala. Oh, he doesn't want... Oh, why? Get, let me pay you at least to sit on the bench. That's so sad. Oh, no, I don't need... No release clause. Come on, man. All right, cool. Nothing more to do. We'll just leave our guys on loan. Oh, God. Getting a load of loan offers. We're not taking any of them. Babu Ma is pretty happy to sit on the bench, which is awesome. Okay, Burns wants to have a look at his contract. That makes sense. He is pretty good at the whole football thing. Oh my god, he's on 5k a week. Give him his money. This is January. There's nothing more I can do. The 2010 Premier League season is about to be underway. First game against Bolton Wanderers. Away! At the Reebok. We have no idea what happened. Also, Arsenal. We still have no idea what happened. Stop the simulation. We drew to Bolton and beat Arsenal. Oh my god. Okay, Man City away to play. What's their team looking like now? Oh my god, that team is insane. See if we can beat them with our ragtag team of kids. No, we couldn't. Solomon Kalu with a brace and then someone else scored as well. I didn't see. Home to Preston. Beat them 4-1. We win in the cup and we draw in the league. Okay, we're doing all right. The Youth Academy team is doing well, but we're going to have to face our toughest challenge yet. We're away at Old Trafford to a prime Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo is still there. Van Nistelrooy is there as well. No sign of Rooney at all. Don't know where he is. Ferdinand in defense. It's just a ridiculous Man United team. This is the team of kids that we have to play with. Here we go. Can we get a result away at Old Trafford? Oh, Burns with a brace. Ronaldo and Alex Ferguson in the mud. Tranmere Rovers on top. The Youth Academy run is alive and well. And as we head into November, we are fourth in the table. We're actually doing so well. Okay, interesting. Jarvis again is up to a 79 overall. I wonder if I can make him a cam. Although Bailey's getting better. He's just showing great potential. It's a bit scary. I wish his potential was a little higher. Zach Bailey. We won in the cup against Bolton on penalties. We beat Liverpool. Oh my God. 3-0. We destroyed them. 2-1 loss to Villa though. That's a shame. Chelsea away. Man City. Ah, we lost to Man City. But we beat Portsmouth and we beat West Ham and we're into January and we're third in the table. Seven points off Chelsea granted, but we're in there somewhere. Maybe there's a chance that we can win the title in our first season. Okay, let's flick through development plans now. Okay, yeah, Zach Bailey is stagnating a little bit. Whitehead isn't though. Stevens is a small bit, but I'm not concerned. These guys are young enough that they can shatter glass ceilings and get even better. God, we have so much depth on this team now with all these lone players getting better. Lines is up to a 79. I'm so impressed. I'm actually so impressed. Home to Man City, 3-1 loss. Oof, we are blitzing the Premier League and we just lost to Liverpool. Thank you. Anytime I speak, I swear to God. Oh my God, now we're just losing. Please beat Chelsea though. Oh my God, they destroyed us. Oh, we actually fell off. That's crazy. We actually fell off. Oh my God. Oh my God, the fall off is insane. God, that is it. You know, that little stretch of losses just ruined us. And now it's May and now we're fourth. Oh, we're not even close. Chelsea are going to win the title. That's so tough. It's okay though. We could qualify for Champions League, which is ultimately the aim. But of course, I'd love to win that Premier League title. Probably our fullback, but that's okay. There's nothing we can do about that. I think I'm done with sending people out on loan. I think I'll just let them come back and see how good they are. Okay, these guys are back in the new year and so is he. So is he, so is he. Okay, so all these loan guys are back in the new season. So when they come back, we already have Thompson pushing Zach Bailey. Thompson is showing great potential. If Lyons comes back and he actually, you know what? Do you know what? I'm just gonna give me him back. He's an exciting prospect. Okay, because what I could do is just release Zach Bailey and then just make Jesse Lyons a cam. 12 weeks could just be worth it because in center mid, we already have Shivaji Joseph and we have Saunders and we have Jarvis coming back. So let's just do those 12 weeks. Okay, please, can I actually hire more than just one coach now? Oh, it's still one coach? Are you kidding me? Everyone's on international duty. It's 2010. It's a World Cup year. But now everyone is back from loan. Here we go. Wait, are they? I don't even know. I don't think they are, actually. Oh, yes, they are. Lewandowski is the contract is in 11 months. Oh, God. Oh, it's just him and Bennett. Okay, cool. Who's the most valuable player on our team? Oh, my God. Like 100 mil for Jamie Stevens. Let's go. Why is he more valuable than Whitehead? Whitehead's better. I don't know. Either way, I have no business to conduct. I can't buy anyone and I'm not selling anyone. So just leave it as it is. We do have a transfer offer for Whitehead though. 112 million from Liverpool up to 144 million from no way. Shabalala is still on the loan list, but we're not doing that. Babu Mai wants to move away as well. Nope. They're all staying forever and ever. Tranmere, home of champions. Okay, we have that lines position change. Here we go. How much is he going to go up? Two. That's actually big. Whoa. Okay, that's a big difference. He's now the best cam on the team. We have three cams now. Completely unnecessary. That's actually big because now Bailey's not the starter. Lions is. Oh, that card is nice as well. 86 pace, 83 shooting. Ooh, 90 pace on our center back. Yeah, team is just OP. Lewandowski's gonna go on the bench alongside Thomas. Uh, and then Bailey is coming in alongside Thompson. Because they can both play center mid. Oh no, Thompson can play center mid. Bailey can't, but that's okay. Oh no, Jarvis. Jarvis instead of Thompson. So it's gonna be Bailey and Jarvis. Soon it will be Thompson and Jarvis, but for now it's not. Goddard can also play center back and so can Bennett. They can also play center mid. So all of our players are pretty flexible. The likes of Field and Clark are just not gonna see any game time, which is a bit of a shame. But what we'll do is we'll simulate a month and we'll just see 
see what happens. We're in the community shield, by the way. Did we win the FA Cup last year? I don't think we did. Hold on. I can check my career. Oh, wait. We won the Premier League. It says we won the Premier League. No, we didn't win the Premier League. We couldn't have. There's no way we won the Premier League last year. Oh my God. We won the Premier League. Oh my God. How? Oh, we lost the community shield. How did we win? Oh my God. We're Premier League champions already. Jesus. That was very quick. Okay. Um, cool. We've lost our first two games of the season though. So we're terrible. But I'm interested to see who's playing football. I think it is Lions. Interesting. Zach Bailey has three appearances. Thompson has two. And Lions has three. Okay. So they're flipping between all three of them. Wow. Doesn't really bother me to be completely honest. First game of the Champions League against FC Basel is a 3-1 win. Knocked out of the EFL Cup though. Roma in the Champions League. 5-2. What a game. Oh, Burns is injured. Oh, crap. Okay. So Lewandowski's been playing up front. Lions has been playing at Cam. Bailey seems to have been getting games as well. I think Bailey's been starting maybe. I'm not quite sure. Either way, I think it's okay. Oh yeah. Bennett could be our full fledged right back. Either or, to be honest, we're doing pretty well, so I don't really care. Our top scorer this season is Shivaji Joseph from midfield. Oh my God. What a guy. What a guy. Okay. Stevens is second. Well, actually, Burns is second, but he's injured. Stevens is third. Okay. Yeah. Zach Bailey is starting and Lions is coming on as well. I think that's okay as long as it doesn't hamper his potential. Noah Thompson is now at the club since, which means he may have reached his potential. Although Lions has already gone up plus one already. So I wonder if he's just going to keep getting better because the better he gets, the less and less game time the other guys are going to get, which suits me. I mean, I don't really mind, you know. The better my players, the better, you know, that is how it works. We've drawn our last four games on the bounce, by the way. We need wins. There we go. And again, three in a row. Oh my God. Oh my God. Basel. Oh, wow. Oh no, we lost our goalkeeper. We lost our striker and our goalkeeper. So yeah, Shabalala is playing in nets. No wonder we're struggling. You also had three months. Oh no. Oh, the fall off. The fall off. Kept a clean sheet in that one though. Oh no, we're going to be so bad. Shabalala is not good. Oh, Burns is available. Oh, but that's up front. Oh, we need our goalkeeper. <laughs> Oh God, when's he back? Four weeks? Oh my God. Chelsea destroyed us. Bolton destroyed us. We're ninth. This is so depressing. No, we're not selling Jesse Lyon. We're actually still in the Champions League though. We have Club Bruges in the round of 16, which I'll definitely take. Hopefully by the second leg of that tie. Oh no, by the first leg we have him, do we? Oh God, the Champions League animation. It's also like an old school Champions League animation, but it takes forever. Okay, the keeper is hurt. Not really in a state to play. Crap. But we will have him for the second leg, which is very important. First leg, we win 3-0. Never mind, we don't need him. Chelsea beat us in the cup so we're out of the fa cup as well we're doing terribly in the league this year i think that's just because of injuries though club bruise dead frost is available again there we go it doesn't really matter how we do in the league to be honest as long as we do well in the champions league i don't really care and we have man united in the next round which is going to be very tough city we lose to united oh two nil god don't make it easy for us do they and that's now the united team they've find steiger on the wing oh lions isn't playing oh my god why are they playing bailey lions is better quick sim come on okay that's it that's it it's over champions league quarter final for this season we get knocked out would have been a good team in the next round as well, which could have been fun, but that's okay. We move. Okay, I'm about to release Bailey because I want Lions to play, and I really don't want Lions to hand in a transfer request. And he hasn't so far, which is important. But we have some depth at this position. Bailey is just, he's not going to get any better. We can keep Thompson for the bench. I'm just going to release him. Funnily enough, Joseph in midfield has just gone from strength to strength. He's incredible. But where the hell? Oh my god, where's the other Australian centre mid that we had? He's gone. He's not here. He's gone. We had Lions and we had another guy, right? I don't even know where he went. Oh my god, he was so good. Was that a release? clause it was probably release clause oh that's so dumb so we've lost our center mid depth now well not completely uh, we, we've got like a ma <laughs> center mid. Oh, okay, that's frustrating. Look, he probably wasn't going to play anyway. We've also lost our center back to injury. How long is he out for? Walker. Three months! Oh my god! Do we even have a backup center back? Yeah, we do, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's still. Come on. That's so unfortunate. Okay, go to the end of June. Just put me out of my misery. Come on. We're not going to be in the Champions League next year again. The difference a goalkeeper makes, honestly. We've absolutely destroyed the league, and then Man United beat us. Okay. Bit of a step backwards this year. We won the Premier League last year, apparently, but we finished sixth this year, so we only qualify for the Europa League. Every year, we only get one coach. It's so unfair. I could have filled up these coaches ages ago. Oh, uh, contract. Jesus. Oh, Thomas wants to move away from the club. That's kind of bad. He's kind of good for our bench. He's also on 162 quid a week. Poor guy. Who's the most valuable player at our club? Stevens, 97.5 million. Gabriel White had 94.5. You may wonder why the values are kind of lowered. It's because it's the 2004 mods. The values are a little bit more realistic to that time period. Just still an insane fee. Our entire defense is super good. And then just right back is just suffering and pain. That's okay, though. I don't mind a bit of suffering and pain. Reese Long is his potential 
potential, I can tell you that. Daniel Walker, though, definitely hasn't. Shane Jones also hasn't. Isaac Bennett, our right back, definitely not. Jay Roberts is still going to go up. Austin Sanders is still going to go up. That's what I want to see. Shivaji Joseph, he's still going to go up. He's gone up to a 90. Thompson's basically hit his potential. Jesse Lyons, on the other hand, definitely hasn't. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jamie Stevens is going to get better as well. Only 71 shooting. God, he's going to shoot up soon. Lewandowski, he's only 82 rated. God, I think we've destroyed his career by accident. Nothing more we can do. Let's go to January. 2011, 2012 season, the Premier League. We lose our first game to Aston Villa. Second game against Bolton. We win, which is good. Bolton in the mud. Crystal Palace to play and Crystal Palace to beat. Let's go. Can we beat Chelsea? This would be a good result. I'll take a draw. That's pretty decent. Oh God, we're in the Conference League, aka the Intertoto Cup. That's what it's called in these simulations. Dynamo Zagreb beat us. Oh God. We get a win against Zurich. And again, let's go. Into the 1st of January. We're in the EFL Cup semi-final against Manchester United and we're in the FA Cup and we're top of the Premier League by seven whole points. We're dominating the league this year. This is the team. Yeah, Lions is finally getting games and he's happy. Bennett's going to keep getting better at right back as well. So is Roberts. So a bit of competition pushing each other for that right back position, which is what I want to see. Let's simulate. Of course, we're not in the Champions League this season, but we're looking good this year for trophies and bits and bobs like that. We beat Aston Villa and we beat Man U in the first leg of the EFL Cup. Can we beat them now at home and get to the final? Yes, we can. Norwich in the FA Cup, we win as well. Chelsea beat us in the Premier League. That's tough. We win back against Crystal Palace though. And we beat Tottenham. Bolton away as a result. Bolton in the Cup final. We win on penalties. So we've won the EFL Cup. We're still in the FA Cup and we're still in the Intertoto Cup as well. We were in the first leg and closed that out 6-4 in aggregate. We progressed to the quarterfinals of that. In the Premier League, we're still flying pretty damn high. We beat Villa, draw with Liverpool, beat Blackburn, beat Arsenal away, get a result against Fenerbahce, knock them out of the Cup, lose to United on penalties. So we're out of the FA Cup, which is a shame, but we're flying in the league. Lazio's a one-all draw on the first leg and we win the second leg. We're into the final of the Intertoto Cup. We're smashing it in the Premier League and we're absolutely flying. The final of the Intertoto against Atletico Madrid, we win. So we're into at least the Europa League next season, but I have a funny feeling that we won the Premier League. And yes, we did. 93 points. 23 points ahead of Man City in second. Three losses all year. What a season for us. Flying back into that Champions League with our heads held high. This is the team that is just after doing it. Bennett has gone up a few overall this season as well. He's doing very well. Lions up to an 89. Saunders 87. These guys are shattering glass ceilings and going beyond their expected potential. Our team is very good, but is it time for us to keep going? Our team is very good, but are they good enough to win Europe's greatest competition? Let's find find out. Impossibly the toughest era to win the Champions League. And I do just want to check. Without Thomas, we will have at least Clark for the bench. Okay, so that's basically 1A, 1B. And then without Man, we have Thomas. Okay, so we're good. Let's have a quick look at scoring this season, though. Who's the top scorer? Burns with 38-3. and three. Wow. Joseph from midfield. He's scoring goals for whatever reason. Lines as well from Cam doing well. Whitehead not so good. Neither Stevens really either, but they are providing the assists and support out wide. What a year for us. Technically a treble. Intertoto Cup, Carabao Cup, Premier League. Semi-finals of the FA Cup. Falling there is a bit of a shame. But let's see if we can win the Champions League next season. We've already won the Premier League twice. Don't know how we came sick the season after. I don't know what happened there, but look, doesn't really matter. Champions League next season or bust. Oh, Lewandowski wants to move away. Ah, oh, that's a shame. To be fair, we've literally signed him, sent him out on loan, sat him on the bench, and then, I don't know, just made him cry. It's hard to blame him. All these guys want moves away. We just have to let them walk. It would actually leave us with zero reserves and a 68 rated backup centre mid. But them's the breaks, I suppose. Let's just go. Okay, no point waiting around. Let's just simulate to June, literally the whole way through. We're still in the EFL Cup. We're winning games in the Champions League. We beat United 3-1. Life is good. We beat Arsenal away at, well, I suppose Highbury, because this was before they moved in 2004, it was, anyway. But they're still building the Emirates for them to move, so I guess it is the Emirates, but still. Okay, I like to think it's Highbury, at least. And we're out of the FA Cup, tears. And what about the FA Cup? We're out of that as well. Yay! Oh my god. Doesn't really matter, though. Champions League is about to come up. Here comes the Champions League. It's Barcelona! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, why do we have to be the ones to play against Barcelona. It's gonna be like Ronaldinho and Eto and Javi and Iniesta and like Busquets and Puyol. And we already lost the first leg 2-1. This is the Barcelona team. Oh my god, it's so good. This is gonna be so difficult. Come on, boys. I hate this. I hate this so much. And we're out of the round of 16. We haven't even got to the semi-finals of the Champions League, I don't think. And how are we doing in the Premier League? I don't even know. We're second. Okay, so that's good. Jesus, Lewandowski jump scared me there. Just used to seeing auto-generated faces. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got nothing to lose. Let's just go to the end of June. 2013 wasn't our year. In real life, it was Bayern Munich's year, I think, in Wembley against Dortmund. Good news. We made the Champions League. We finished, I think, second last season. And this is the team that we have to go the whole way. Bennett's up to an 87. Our team feels pretty damn solid now. Bad thing is, I don't think we're going to have any reserves this year, but uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll make it work. Never mind. I think we kept all our players. I don't know how, but we just did. Nothing matters this year, though. We're going to sim straight to June and see if we can make the Champions League final. First game of the season against Charlton. 3-1 win. Good start to the year. We beat Villa 
4-0 as well. Blackburn up. Blackburn to beat. Three wins from a possible three so far. Can we make it four? Yes, we do. Great start to the season for us. We're in January and we just got our first loss of the season to Blackburn. We're still in the cup though and in the league. I think we won the EFL Cup and in the league, yeah, we've only lost one game. Champions League round of 16 against Wolfsburg. 2-1 win in the first leg. That's good. Still in the FA Cup. Still in the FA Cup. Second leg now against Wolfsburg. Need a win. And we get it on penalties. Oh my God. We're still alive in the Champions League. We lost in the cup, so we're out of the FA Cup. We're still flying in the Prem. Man United is tough. First quarter final, 2-1 win. Second leg. Bang! 6-2 on aggregate. Semi-final against Valencia. This is going to be tough. 3-1 win in the first leg is very promising. And we're into a Champions League final. 7-3 on aggregate. We win the second leg 4-2. And we are primed for a Champions League date with Destiny against Chelsea. Before we get into this final, this will be, by the way, the final game of the video. The video will end here. In the Premier League, we lost two games all year. Got 102 points and won the title. Uh, in the FA Cup, we did not win it. In the Carabao Cup, though, we did. Super Cup obviously didn't go our way because we weren't in it. We're in the final of the Champions League. Here we go. Let's go to match day. This is the Chelsea team that we'll be playing against. Berbatov up front, Robin on the wing, Patrick Vieira there, John Terry, Petr Cech in net. But this team, this bloody team of legends. Everyone's 90 plus at this point. Lions has fulfilled its potential to a 96 overall. The man's a monster. Bennett at right back as well. Our front three, Whitehead 99, Burns 98, Stevens 97. All Youth Academy players, all procured by our own efforts, and all of which will soon be Champions League winners. Let's watch the match and pray that we can win in the Schalke Arena. Chelsea versus Tranmere Rovers in the 2014 Champions League final. And here we go. The time for talk is over. Berbatov kicks off the first of our only Champions League finals. Patrick Vieira on the ball for Chelsea. We are praying that Tranmere can do this. And here we go. We get the first attack of the game. It's Burns down the wing. Cuts inside. Burns cuts inside. Sets back. Please. Oh, what a save from Czech. We've almost started strong there. Into Patrick Vieira. Into Ramos. Ramos by his man. Can he slip anyone through here for Chelsea? To Medina. Medina clips it over to Berbatov. Wasted chance for Chelsea. Tranmere breathe a sigh of relief. Dimitar Berbatov squanders a brilliant opportunity. Lions now coming forward for Tranmere. Into Whitehead. Whitehead to Burns. It's into Joseph with the shot. Big save from Czech. Joseph, our Indian midfielder, with a brilliant strike. Czech with a save. This final is back and forth. Now it's Stevens on the corner. The early pressure from Tranmere here is really building. Oh God, that's a terrible touch. Berbatov picks it up. Good tackle. Oh my God. We breathe a sigh of relief as we head into halftime. Or will we have time for another goal? Can we get forward? A minute left of out of time. I think we can, you know. Burns on the ball. Can he find anyone through? Great pass to Stevens. Can he beat the last man? Stevens! There we go. The original Youth Academy prospect scores in the Champions League final. The first hidden gem that we found pops up when we need him the most. And Tranmere take a 1-0 lead in the 2014 Champions League final against Chelsea. Ten years on from the start of this simulation in 2004, Stevens pops up with a goal. Czech is beaten and Chelsea are one nil down to Tranmere Rovers. The Youth Academy run from 2004 is halfway done. Halfway in the Champions League final. 1-0 to Tranmere Rovers. Whitehead now on the left. Can we gab another one? Into Burns. Burns, can he get a shot off? Good block by Vieira. Burns almost picks it up again. Chelsea gratefully escape with the ball. And now they come forward. Here's Berbatov on the ball. Can he spin around the corner? Sets out Texera on the right wing. Holds off. Great ball around the corner to Berbatov. Into Robin. It's Iron Robin for Chelsea. Bearing down on goal. Berbatov to Robin. Outside to Leon with a shot. Good save from Frost. Chelsea looking more dangerous though. Strands around the corner to Ramos. It's Ramos with a shot. Big save from Frost in net. Chelsea getting better and better chances. I'm nervous. Lyon sets Saunders, our midfielder. Saunders slips through Stevens. Here comes Stevens again for a second time. Can he put this to bed? What a save from Petr Cech. No way. Oh God, that was so close. That could have been it. That should have been it. But no, Chelsea escape with a chance. Good tackle from Joseph. He's been immense, by the way, in the middle of midfield. And we can escape. It's Burns. We have the runner beyond the striker. Can he play him through? Burns holds onto it too long. To Saunders. Great ball to Whitehead. Now here come Tranmere. Whitehead down the left wing. Set inside to Burns. And that's the goal that we were looking for. It's a second of the game. It's a first for Burns up front. And Tranmere take a 2-0 lead in the Champions League final. The youth academy run from 04 is paying dividends. Joseph now for Tranmere. Out to Whitehead. Can we get a third? Can we put this to bed? Whitehead cuts in beautifully. It's still Whitehead. Whitehead with a shot, good save from Czech, brilliant from Tranmere, running down this clock, it's not going to look like Chelsea have another chance, Stevens now on the edge of the box, to Whitehead, Whitehead skips by his man, is there anyone he can find in the middle, Whitehead holds back, out to Stevens. Stevens back to Whitehead with a shot, saved by Czech, 
Will he have enough time to get the ball up the pitch? Is it all over for Chelsea? Two minutes out of time. He pumps it long. Won by our centre-back. Picked up by Stevens, And that is going to be it. Joseph comes forward with the ball for the final time. Sets back Saunders. And the referee blows the whistle. It's over. It's the Youth Academy run from 2004. With all the old teams. With all the old legends. It doesn't matter. And Tramnir are European champions. The players picked from the countries that you guys were watching from somehow managed to put it together and win themselves a Champions League title in the year 2014. In real life, Real Madrid won the Champions League in 2014 after a dramatic game against Atletico Madrid. 4-1 in extra time. All the goals and all the glory. But this time, through our efforts, it's going to be Tranmere Rovers as the Champions League winners. The Youth Academy run to end all Youth Academy runs. And having that said, thank you so much for watching this video.